uh, right now I have uh, David Lewis on. Uh, David Lewis is our favorite animal communicator, and he's brought Nora with him. And Nora is from the Animal Protective Foundation. She's five years old, mm -hmm. and you're going to tell us all about her, right? Well, we had a little chat on the way over, like I usually do. Um, she would be really comfortable with like an older couple or an older man. She's been very well behaved today. She's been this wonderful. Morning. She's yeah. been wonderful. In fact, I have to say this is really a little off topic, but when the uh, Oriole Camerata started their song, the first line was, "Tell me where is the love I can call my own," and I almost started crying because I kept thinking, "That's what she's you know, looking this for." This is what she needs. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She really needs. She's such a love. She was been very attentive to me and very responsive the whole time. Look at this. He just, yeah, I just yeah. pet her and she sits down. Um, she kept checking, looking up at me to check and make sure everything make was there. okay. Yeah, it's okay. But no, she's very, she's not very demanding. She doesn't have a lot of, you know, particular needs. She's just very people oriented. Mm -hmm. And I think just the fact that she's taken to me so well in such a short time. And you have to indication. pick them up, put them in a car. Put You've right. never met her before, right. and so this is where you get an opportunity to get a feel for that dog. Right, and just kind of chat on the way over and see see what's going on. She likes the outdoors, but she doesn't doesn't have a lot of needs, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, she's five years old, so she's yeah. kind of gotten over uh, stages where they're you know some are problematic sometimes. Right. So, and do you have a background on her? What what where did she come well, from? Kind of crinkle this paper to open it up a little. Cause, sure. Uh, We don't know where she came from. I don't know. Yeah. Um, Someone just, does, though. So. <laughs> oh, I hope so. She needs a quiet home. Older children would be okay. Um, she's very people-centered. I think you know she is a little timid. She did kind of balk a little bit when you know when my ice cubes crinkled in my oh, okay. glass well, and that? stuff. Yeah. So yeah. So I, but I, I don't. You didn't feel, buy her a drink. <laughs> she's not terribly. Uh, she doesn't come across as terribly nervous. No, I mean, not she, at all. If she's anxious at all, she has a good way of, you know, uh, holding through it. She, at one point, it looked like she was going to try to go under a chair and lie down. And yeah. I just pulled on the leash a little bit, and she came back. And just like this, she'll, you know, sitting with me. Well, she was uh, just going to hang out. Just want to lay down yeah. and hang out. She's a sweet girl. I think. And, and they do kind of a, uh, a psychological um, work up on a dog when they bring them in because they want to know what they're you know uh, adopting right, out right right they do a whole evaluation of how they are you know around food around other dogs around people mm -hmm. and you know that's why they said they thought maybe uh older children okay but i the feeling i get with that is that they don't you know that's because uh the smaller children might just make her nervous because of all their you know sort of random Oh yeah, movements, movements and whatnot. Exactly. But that. I feel like she's very adaptable. Okay, um, she just needs to get out of the shelter and get a home. Well, I mean, we need to get. She's find been a there too long. Yeah. yeah. Um, I do want to mention too. If you'd like to hear more of what um, David does, you're giving a workshop, aren't you? Or a fundraiser, actually. Yeah, Saturday uh, at APF on Maple Avenue from one to three. It's called Animals Say the Darnest Things. I have accumulated, uh, probably in my 13 years of doing this work, about 62 wild success stories that are just unbelievable. Yeah, I read them on, on Facebook. Right, you, right. Sometimes you'll post them. It's like, whoa. Right. And <laughs> I tell those stories. And then at the end, I do a demonstration. So, yeah. you know, they'll get a, they'll get a couple animals from the shelter, probably a dog and a cat. So don't bring your own animals. No, it would be a little crowded. Yeah. <laughs> if everybody did uh, that. Yeah. I do, that's, uh, and that's a benefit for the spay and neuter clinic. Uh -huh. uh, and that's really a wonderful project that they have there for that. Yeah. I do want to also mention that they have a brand new executive director. I know she hasn't started yet, but you <clears throat> did hear that she's coming on board. I just saw that. Yeah. yeah. And she has a wide uh, background, I guess, in animal, for 25 years of uh, wow. working with uh, animal uh, 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 welfare. So yeah. that's really good, I along with that. other really good backgrounds. So mm -hmm. it's, it's good that they've got someone new on board, and, uh, and they have uh, lots of cats and dogs. What do you got there? Have you looked? They have a lot, a lot of cats now, or are they? Oh, at the shelter. Yeah. Oh, they always have a lot of cats. Yeah. Yeah. That's, you know. Well, they proliferate. Just, that's what, right. That's why they have the clinic, <laughs> yeah, and good. we're trying to hope, hope it catches on. So what we uh, want to do is remind you that if you do have an animal, make sure that you do get them spayed and neutered, yeah. depending on which animal they are. I and guess. also, I have to say too, um, just if your animals are skittish at all, 
don't, don't let them near the, the doors when you open the doors. Oh, I, see they shoot so, out. I see so many postings for lost mm -hmm. dog, lost animal. It's such an ordeal. It involves so many people hunting and looking and chasing around and setting traps and it's with not food. Good and for, it's not good for the animals either because then they get kind of disoriented. Right. Even though you think, oh, they, they got this homing thing and they're, they're and they probably yeah. do have somewhat but they get distracted by smells that they're not, un they're not used to, right. by sounds they're not used to, and uh, it really creates a real problem if you don't. And then they shoot out in front of a car. I mean, sure. you know, they just are not, especially if you take care of your animal and you keep them in your home and you walk with them, then they're really not, not savvy as far as running wild. Right, yeah. very good, thank you. So, and the other thing is keep your cats inside too. Well, that too, although there's a lot of argument about that, boy. Oh, is there? Oh, okay. a lot of people think it's, it's inhumane to leave a cat, make a cat stay indoors. That, well, you that know they need what? to be climbing trees I'm and running and stuff. I'm telling you, one, per, one uh, critter that would be really happy to let your cat out is my, our coyotes in our back area. They love cats. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's what I tell so people. So keep your you cat know? inside sure. because those coyotes are looking for a meal and sometimes they'll go after them. Sure. No, I agree. I agree. But I'm not saying people, they all do that, but, you know, it's agree, one of those things. That, no, I, I've had cats my whole life, and very few have really showed any interest in going outdoors. Yeah, they so. like to be safe and secure, and they like right. the sunny spot in the house, right? Exactly. So uh, David Lewis is with us, and uh, please check out his wonderful uh, workshop coming up on the 25th. This is Nora. And we need a home for Nora. So, Nora, we hope that we, today you'll find a home. It's the first time uh, she's laid down all day, so this is good. And she's relaxed. Just uh, call, the, call or stop by the Animal Protective Foundation over at 53 Maple Avenue, and they will be happy to show Nora to you. Thanks so much, okay. David. Thanks, Good to see yeah. you again. Good to see you.